I think it's just right. What's up, cutie? It's good. You ready? What's up? You oh, shit, it's recording? Yeah. Oh, shit, all right, ready? You want to start it? Want to start it? Uh... What's up guys, it's Dudes Talking Comics, it's Mo and TK. So today we're going to be reviewing Venomized number 3. The cool thing about this video, towards the end, we're going to have a third member, his name is Angel. He's going to let you guys know his thoughts, his reviews of the first two to three issues, but he will go in depth with the third issue. So stay tuned toward the end of this video. So yes, this is issue number 3. The battle is continuing on the bridge. Me and TK were talking about it for now. For now. I'm not really feeling the storyline. But we're what? into this. We're into this. So I'm going to finish it towards the end. I'm going to let you guys know as we break it down why I'm not yeah, really yeah. feeling we, it. Yeah, yeah. We'll point out the, I guess, yeah. you, you could definitely, because you have a lot of issues with it. For, for now. But you never know. These next future you know, issues yeah, come out. I feel like it could get out. even better. Century comes out of nowhere. Oh, forget it. I'm in. Oh, and he, he just I'm demolishes in. everybody. The void. <laughs> So, where does the story take, not take place, where does it continue? It continues on the battle on the bridge. The bridge. So going so we, on have, there? we have Captain America and his team there, and he's still, right now he's battling Thor, the female Thor, the mm -hmm. mighty Thor, and we realize, hey listen, she has the symbiote now, mm -hmm. it's attached to her, but is she worthy of the hammer? So, remember, with this storyline of Venomize, these superheroes, they're getting attached with the symbiotes. But they still have control of themselves. Um, but there are these little aliens. Forgot to, the names of what they are, but these little aliens, they attach to you and they pretty much control you. They control you from the back. Boom. And once they attach to you, you have no more self-control, even though you have the symbiote on you. So, yes, she gets attacked with the symbiote. And now she has no control of herself because the little alien... Kind of like the little face huggers from Alien. They attach and now they have control over her. But as she's about to explode with the thunder, the hammer drops. Just about she's she's she was just about to end Captain America's life. Mm -hmm. But the hammer comes out of her hand. She's not worthy, so she can't deal with that. She can't hold that power anymore. And with that being said, she also loses her whole form. Yeah. That's where her power was coming from. So mm -hmm. Lucky, luckily for her, her dying self, which is horrible, she yeah. is dying from cancer, but um, she gets out of it, which Rem sucks. Remember, this storyline takes place before she actually dies, because, you know, Jane Foster Thor, she did pass away because of cancer, but this storyline takes place before that actually happened. So yeah, um, so she isn't controlled by a symbiote anymore, she is released, so she's like um, running around. She's still trying to gather civilians to get out of the bridge while Captain America and a few others who are not, you know, poisoned with the symbiote are trying to battle the main evil symbiotes on the bridge. But guess who joins the battle? Evil Jean Grey. She goes in. She's like talking to Scott in his like mind and telepathy. Yeah. Scott, I'm here. Here I am. And Scott's like, no. But remember, she also is covered with the symbiote and she's she was the, the first control. one I yeah think. she was the first one to get it so she's definitely out of her control again like the phoenix so <laughs> she she comes in she's there she brings a team in with her we got nova we got everybody i'm pretty sure everybody's with the symbiote except I captain think. america for some reason captain america can dodge all these bullets and and still say his corny ass line. I would say like 90% of these superheroes are covered in symbiote except Captain America. Captain America's being Captain America. We gotta stay to the end. We gotta fight everyone. We gotta save the civilians. You know you know what it is with me and these storylines? I've seen this. <laughs> Yo, they let Randy here. No, listen. <laughs> Here's the thing. Um, Captain America, awesome character. It's just, I've seen this happen so many times, you know. We gotta stay here, we gotta fight the civilians. It's the same shit I've seen before. That's why I'm a little bit like, all right, let's see where it goes. But it's Captain America being Captain America. I can't really be upset at that. It's just yeah. a little bit corny. I, I, it's just a hard thing to do, you know, Superman. We got Superman in Justice League that it's somewhat similar to him. Fight to the death. Yeah. We'll stay here to the end. He's saying his little, the same lines he always does. We gotta stay here. If that means dying, then we'll die. It's like... Okay, <laughs> but what? Where do we go from here? I think it, now it takes us back into space, into um, to where Thanos. Thanos and Doctor Doom and 
I guess you mentioned like Doctor Strange. We yeah. do. Me and TK were talking about how like you know it's kind of hard to figure out which symbiote is which. Yeah, we spoke about that in the in the last you know episode that we made. But um, when it got to Venomize Two, it, it kind of got too difficult to understand who's who and to see. Like the, the only way we know is when a certain character calls yeah. out their name. Like like there's a part there that one of the evil symbiotes like Hyperion, go after this person. Yeah. The, oh, that's that's Hyperion. That's Hyperion. Oh, but they don't say this is Doctor Strange, but we can tell because of the symbol on his chest is like got the eye of Agamotto. So we're like, oh, that's. Gotta be Doctor Strange. Again, these are evil versions of them from a different multiverse. They are controlled and covered by the symbiotes, and that's pretty much that. So yeah. what's going on there? So we end up in space. We end up where Carnage was being held, and now he's transformed into some black and red suit symbiote. They, I don't know. They, I... They've made it clear that they want this Earth's Carnage because if they can control him, they can that can pretty much, you know, lead them to victory. But he's fighting it he all. He's one of the threats. He's one to of the, the whole thing. Ana- he's one of the anomalies. There's yeah. three anomalies apparently. He was one of them. So they found Cletus Cassidy in the jail. They took him and now they're trying to put their own symbiote on him so they can control him and that can lead them to victory. But he's fighting it off. He's like, no, 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 this isn't my symbiote. This isn't mine. I don't want this. And he's kind of going through, he's kind of being tortured too. So in this image, it seems like he's still fighting it off. Um, yeah, I mean, towards the end, he, you know, he snaps out of it and he's like, send me into the fight or something like mm-hmm. that. He said, send, send him. But um, throughout the thing, what do you think about his costume? What do you think about what's going on? My favorite colors are black and red, so it looks black and yellow, good. black and yellow. <laughs> oh. But it looks it looks pretty cool. So yeah, that's, it has like that that it looks carnage cool. look. You know, yeah, it has that carnage carnage, carnage venom look. Yeah, you know. Um, after so he's still in the middle of transformation. Now we jump into another scene where we still have venom. Spider-Man and they're alchemists, right? Yeah. And anti-venom and certain scientists, they are still trying to figure out a way Doctor. to defeat or to at least remove the symbiote and they're all in disagreement. What's going on over there? Well, we got Venom, you know, disagreeing with the whole plot because the doctor himself was like, hey, listen, anti-venom, you know, let's get that out there. Let's go through that process mm-hmm. of, you know, he's actually the one that could destroy these symbiotes because, you know, his uh, powers, what it, what, what, what you consider the problem? He has like some anti symbiote touch that he can actually remove the symbiote, but it doesn't just remove it. It seems like he, it also kills it. So, Spider Man's all about it. The scientist is all about it. Venom is like, listen, these symbiotes are not evil. So, they're being, sla- they're kind of like slaves right now. Venom, Venom sees them as people. Right. And he feels like, hey, listen, you guys wouldn't do this to, to you know, regular humans. Don't do that to them. So if we could find a way not to destroy them, but to save them as well as ourselves, then we're good with that. Yeah. And it's, it's pretty hard because Venom's by himself in this fight. Venom's actually by himself in this whole dilemma because who's going to relate to him? Yeah, and you got Spider-Man who's so against it because he's dealt with these symbiotes so, almost his whole life. And he's like... Nah, man. These these people, these things are evil. We need to do this. So they're going back and forth, back and forth. Now we jump back to the battle on the bridge, and pretty much everybody's getting their ass kicked. Remember, there's three anomalies. Mm-hmm. There's car- Carnage, and then we got Kid Kaiju, and then one just mentioned this. And there's one that's mentioned that we're gonna talk about. But there is Kid Kaiju. I might be pronouncing it wrong. He shows up, and what is his deal? Why is he so? Yo. What? <laughs> He's gonna talk about him, but go ahead. Why, uh, why is he so right, special? So this kid comes out, and we learned earlier that that hey, this kid has the ability to make super super beings, I guess, monsters, super monsters. So when it, <laughs> when we get to this point in the comic book, first of all, it's insects. It's like insectoids. I don't know where I got that from. Some of them are, and then we see a dragon. So he creates some big monsters out of whatever ability he has, and he comes in to rescue the team, to rescue everybody at that bridge. Yeah, he seems like he has the ability to create these these um, super beings, whether it's monsters, robots, or something. How you feel about that? How you feel about him being able to do that? I don't have a problem with him doing that. Again, I just find it corny and cheesy that these superheroes <laughs> are fighting these 
excuse me, these symbiotes, they're fighting. Captain America is fighting to the death, and then he just gets flown away by an insect, <laughs> saves him, and he here he is. He's like, I'm here to save the day, even though they kind of knew he wasn't supposed to be there because they know that he's a target. Yeah, so he, he's something. Doom and Thanos yeah. want him. They want him because if they take him, they could use his ability to create more of these beings, and they could be covered with a symbiote. So he's practically a weapon. He's yeah. a weapon for Thanos and Dr. Doom mm -hmm. to be used. So that's why Captain America felt like, hey, listen, you can't be here. You cannot be in this fight. You know, they're not supposed to know where you're at. And obviously him coming to save them gives his, gives his position away. So they get to that point. Uh, yeah, so they're still on the bridge. He, he has them. an amulet that could teleport. So they go into that. Like we've read, we've read this issue. Um, we have TK who has the comic book here, so we're just like skimming through it. Um, even before we continue, the artwork is pretty cool. Yeah, you know, it's pretty I cool. do like that. They do show that the battle is continuing off. Now it's off the bridge. It's on the streets. We got you know Iron Fist. We got Luke Cage, the Defenders, Daredevil, and then we got Red Dragon or Red Dinosaur. What's his name? Devil, Devil Dinosaur. dinosaur. <laughs> One of my favorite characters in Martin now. Um, Devil Dinosaur is in the house. So, yeah, it's very action-packed, the whole comic book. Yeah. So, Devil Dinosaur comes in. He's with the, the girl that that's always with him. I forget her name every single time. But he gets hit with a symbiote. Which, I like it because I don't know if they're doing this on purpose. Maybe like an Easter egg to a cool storyline. That um, we just spoke about. Spoke about podcast. in our podcast, yes. Where Check can they uh, hear us on the podcast? Dudes Talking Comics on uh, Anchor and on iTunes. iTunes, you guys can subscribe. It's free. It's cool stuff. I like it because he is hit with the symbiote and he transforms into a symbiote dinosaur. Old, you know, little callback to Old Man Logan when he's in the Savage Land and he deals with the dinosaurs with the symbiote. So that was like pretty cool, a little callback. I like yeah, that's pretty cool, especially that we we recapped all of that. Mm -hmm. So, um, so they start moving. We got Spider Man, Venom, and Anti Venom coming in. They show up, and what happens? So remember, Anti Venom has this ability to remove symbiotes. I I, I'm not sure if it removes or, or it kills. I did mention that before. It annihilates. But remember, the problem with these symbiotes and the poisons is when you get hit with the symbiote, if it stays long enough on you, it destroys the host and the symbiote just becomes a symbiote itself. So the host doesn't exist anymore. So Anti-Venom comes in. He's like, I'm going to remove the symbiote on the evil Punisher. Zzz, he just turns into goo. Well, I think it, he, he's he's confused though. No, he is. He, he doesn't know, know going to happen. But he doesn't know that it's so. So what really happened? So you're telling me that the symbiote it is transforms it is, the human yeah. body. So let's just say the, TK okay. gets hit with a symbiote. Boom. TK is still there, and he's still trying to fight the symbiote. He's still there. <laughs> but after a certain amount of time, the symbiote takes over the host, so the host is not there anymore. It so it like consumes it. It consumes them? you. It pretty much like consumes it kills them so i think when he went to that punisher who's from a different universe he's thinking i'm gonna remove the symbiote and the original punisher is gonna be there but it turns into goo and that symbiote and that host is just not there anymore and he's kind of like whoa what's going on here yep. and i think that's one of the things that venom was talking about you know that there has to be a different way and to that do is this. a problem i mean if it's your people that that's definitely a problem you don't want them to die yeah so like it's that. a race now to yeah save save your friends your your people and everything before it the symbiote consumes you and the host is gone so this jumps into dr doom and thanos symbiote evil yeah. ones so so it's really hard because you're not you're not fighting the symbiotes are not bad no, they're not. The ones that are being controlled or the ones that are getting hit. Like, but it seems like no one knows that. that yeah. yeah, so it's hard besides Venom. Venom yeah. knows that and he's trying to say it like, like, hey, we could do something about it, but we got to save our people. We got to save human, hum mankind. Yeah. And we also got to save the symbiotes because they're also a different race. They're, they're also a race on themselves. Mm -hmm. So it, it's a hard thing to do and, and they figure out, so we, we get to that panel of of Thanos and Doctor Doom, and they find out that the kid is alive. Hey, I mean, the, the kid, kid is here. They found the kid. You know, the, the beings, the creations that he made helped the heroes escape. So that's the second anomaly. And now we have a third anomaly, which is anti-venom. And he pretty much says, 
But in helping the others, he has revealed himself, Kid Kaiju. Kid Kaiju? Kaiju. More troubling is a third anomaly. One we have not encountered in any reality called Anti-Venom. His touch is caustic, caustic to our kind. Thanos like, well, he must be destroyed. That's how you handle shit. <laughs> he must be destroyed. That's how you handle it. He must but be that, destroyed. But that's very interesting that they never came across an anti-venom. So, mm -hmm. I don't know what's going on there. But yeah, so Venom was going through that. At the end of the, the comic book, we see Carnage and he's actually, you know, he's ready to fight. He's fully transformed into what they were creating him and he looks... He looks pretty cool. Yeah, and he's like in it. Like he wants to just go out there and fight. He doesn't even retaliate. Well, remember, here's the thing. He was fighting the creation of the symbiote, but also those little face huggers or whatever so, they yeah. are took over him and now he has no control. Yeah. So now they are controlling him and now he is their weapon and they feel like now this is gonna lead us to victory. We still got Death in the background. Lady Death is there. She's, she's kind of like she's, she's kind of like pretty girl to a mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, boo boo. Well, to Doctor Doom, she's a pretty girl, but to Thanos, she is Death. So are they what both is she in love? With her? I don't know. We gotta find out about that because it seems like she. You think she's yeah. like kind of like messing with them or? Yeah, I feel like they both like want they, her. They're probably like doing this for her. I, I I'm not sure yet how involved she is, but she keeps popping up, and the issue ends with again with that. Carnage being fully transformed and they feel like things are gonna sway to their way. So that was um Venomized issue number three. Um Thoughts? I, again, I'm I'm not fully sold on the storyline. I, I kind of feel like there's certain parts that are a bit che cheesy, but I do like the idea of it. I have no idea of where it's going to go. So maybe now that Carnage is involved, who's one of my favorite villains, maybe that can like kick things off. Out of five stars, I give it a, you know what? A half a star. <laughs> what did I give it last time? I think a 2.5? give it a 2.5. This issue, I'm going to give it a three. It's I'll clearing it a three. up a little bit. Yeah, it's I clearing know. up. You know, we're... See. We, oh, so, also on top of that, they came to a conclusion that they want to hit the main source. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so, that, mm -hmm. so Venom, Anti-Venom, and Spider-Man, they want to go to the main source of the problem, mm -hmm. which I believe is, you know, Thanos and Doctor Doom. Right. And they gotta they gotta do something about them. Mm -hmm. You know, the first few issues were a little bit like unclear with certain things that are going on. We are getting a better idea of where this is leading to. So it seems like they're gonna come up with a with a plan to attack the main source, as he mentioned, Doctor Doom Thanos' area. So we'll see how that's gonna work now that the super duper carnage is now involved. Um, I'll give the storyline a chance. I'm gonna finish it all the way through yeah, and hopefully I mean, things improve. What, what is it, a couple of more comics? I think it's only issue three, so I'm guessing they have like, what, two more? Yeah, I think there's out of five. Is out of five? We could do this. Yeah. I think he's like, says it right there. I think we could run two more issues. Yeah, I, we're gonna finish it out. We're gonna finish it if out. Feels more, if it was like a 12 issue comic, I would've dropped it probably. No, yeah, I would've been like, nah. F yeah, that. Ain't about it. But those are my thoughts on Venomized issue number three. What are your final thoughts? Final thought? Well, about the same thing. I, th I thought it was pretty cool with the kid creating monsters, creating superheroes. Uh, not superheroes, but super beings. Yeah. I thought, you know, I mean, it's better than all the recent superpower beings that they just made. I don't know. It's pretty weird. Like that... I can't get that, that that image of the kid with all the eyes around his body. Oh, from the so for the first weird. issue of Venomized of the mutant. Was it here? Yeah. Yeah, it was, so he was in the uh, in the mansion, and he comes out and he has all these like eyes and stuff. Like, what, I mean, you can see the, different angles. <laughs> the cool the cool thing is that he is a new character. It's not like other characters that they kind of recycle or somebody else takes on their power yeah, yeah, they, yeah. so I, I i kind of agree with that so yeah we're looking forward to the next issue which we will be doing a review on um once again we will have angel who's part of dtc he's gonna finish this video off with his thoughts on venomize especially issue three so uh, just hang on to the video and check out his review other than that we'll see you guys around what's up everyone this is angel in case you were wondering, there is a third member of the DTC crew. Uh, thanks for finally having me on video. Um, I, and I'm here today to discuss issue 3 of Venomized. Now, this story arc was recommended to me by TK. Uh, it's three, three issues deep. And one thing I do like about it, it's that it's a weekly uh, series. So I don't have to wait a month for a new issue to arrive. 
uh, three issues deep, and uh, as far as I can tell, it's it's an okay storyline. I'm not too overly thrilled with what's going on. Um, I won't get into much detail about what's going on in the storyline. All I can really say is that there's uh, an alien species going around capturing or trapping superheroes with uh, symbiotes. So I'm not sure if this is a Venom storyline or Spider-Man storyline or an Avenger storyline, but it takes place in Earth Prime and there's a bunch of characters. Uh, so far out of five stars, I would say it's a, it's a three. Now I say it's a three because I look forward to seeing how Carnage, who was revealed at the end, to be finally controlled with this special symbiote. So I'd like to see exactly how they use Carnage, because Carnage is one of my favorite villains, being that Spider-Man is one of my favorite characters. So... Let's see what happens with Carnage from here on up. Make sure you also subscribe to our podcast, Dudes Talking Comics, on iTunes. And that's when his video <laughs> <laughs> I just made that happen. Yo.